Thank you for watching. Today we're going to cover my Jeremy McGrath CR250 replica. Uh, these bikes have been replicated a lot. Um, there's some great ones out there that I've seen and I think they're one of the sexier bikes from that air. Um, obviously Jeremy McGrath have used this air frame for quite a while in his racing career um, before going to the newer frames and it just says a lot about this bike. I do have a, another frame that's powder coated and everything's ready to go and the motor's completely built. So if you're interested in that, um, let me know and uh, we'll see if we can work something out. And that frame does have a title. Uh, this bike um, started off with just regular, obviously, CR250. This year is actually in 1995, uh, but you've seen guys do it from you know 1992 to 1995 bikes. Uh, the motor's been gone through. Um, we did a new tank. This is a Clark tank, and it's, you know, an excellent tank, looks great. All the stickers, graphics fit on it perfectly, so I don't see any problem using the Clark tanks um, compared to the stock. The stock one was just still yellowed, and we couldn't get the color all the way out. So since the rebuild, this tank has not even had gas in it, um, and you know, it just, it looks better because we've done everything to this bike and we might as well put a new tank on. Uh, the graphics that you see and the seat cover, um, I think the seat cover goes a lot better than you see a lot of the rebuilds that do not include the seat. I think the seat definitely adds to the look of the bike. Um, we're obviously running McGrath's number one plates. Um, a lot of his bikes were still running the original color rims. They weren't running black, but I think this looks really good in black, so a little off from what they were running. And you probably will notice that the front plate and the front fender are from the newer air bike, just added a flare. Super easy to also keep the uh, stock one as well. Um, suspension's been gone through. Obviously, we're running a pro circuit pipe and uh, silencer. Um, and that's about it. I mean, everything else is pretty much just bolt on parts. I've never ridden this bike. I would love to, but I, I have too many other two stroke 250s that I like better to ride. Um, so this one's just staying in a collection how it is. And uh, I'm thinking about do, definitely doing another one uh, just cause they're super cool. Another one to do too is a Peak. Um, Peak Honda one, I have that uh, 92 CR500 if you've seen that one. That's another cool era of that time when they just had killer graphics and the bikes just looked awesome. So if you're not familiar with that, just look through all my videos and you'll see that. Um, any questions, comments about the build or finding graphics, things like that, don't hesitate to reach out. And- uh, I have a question. Yeah, what What's do you your got? your favorite myself? part about this bike? Uh, probably just the graphics. I was a big fan for the white frame and the red. I think it's one of the cooler years um, and it's just when you watched McGrath in the 90s, this is probably, you know, in his hate times, I think, um, and he was just crushing it and um, just, just cool time uh, for that era in the 90s uh, with this bike. And the bike did so well compared to a lot of the competition out there. Um, the handling and everything, if you read a lot of the reviews of the 92 and newer before, they went to the aluminum frame. Um, just did really, really well. So um, probably, probably that's one of the reasons why it's one of my favorite years. All right, you guys, well, subscribe. Uh, we'll be posting a video a week and uh, stay tuned. Thank you.